All right, rhythm number five is called Bendy. And this one uses a really quirky kind of half step bend with an open string. And uh, it's played over a real sick uh, fat back groove. And it's in the key of D7. So let's check that out. Here we go. Okay, let's break down bendy. Best way to explain this is to play a D7 stock Mel, ba Mel Bay voicing, which is D, ring finger, middle finger F sharp, pinky is on the um, flat seven, D, uh, C rather, and then the D is my, my index finger. Okay, the, uh, for now, let's take all Let's take the first, third, and fourth finger away and leave your middle finger on the F sharp. And it'll make sense later. So this is the way I think of these riffs. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend a half step with my middle finger, which can be kind of weird if you're not used to it. But then I'm playing the adjacent open G string. So you get that weird tension E. That's the first component. Then this next step would be I'm playing this pentatonic just G, F, D. So. Okay, now here's where the D7 shape comes in, although we're not going to use all of it. I use that as my, my fragment that I base these riffs around. So use your pinky on the C as a pivot note. Use the first finger on the C an octave down, fifth string. Ring finger plays the D. So you get this. Okay. Now move up to your fourth string and F to F sharp, third. So it's that move. That's where that D7 shape, if you think of it as sort of a home base, that's how I visualize these things. So if we put the first two components together, we get... Okay, and the last part is just that little response thing. So when I put them together, there is a pickup note. Uh, these notes, D and F, that sets the riff. So it's three, four. And then I'm doing this little bend, sliding up both on the 12th fret, B and, e, and G. And then for best results, pick near the bridge. So that's bendy.